So, the hot stove has been ignited with the trade deadline just a few days away. Now, the first big trade to go down was between the O's and the A's about a week ago when the Athletics parted ways with starting pitcher slash relief pitcher Shintaro Fujinami in exchange for Easton Lucas. Now, Fujinami originally started the season in Oakland's rotation again, coming over from Japan, but after struggling mightily in their rotation, the A's optioned him to the pen, and he's been trending up ever since. In July, Fujinami posted a 2.25 ERA, over seven appearances, and frankly, it seems his fastball, which can top at over 102 miles an hour, has been his bread and butter ever since moving to the pen and has been a big part of his success to go along with a great change-up slash sinker uh, type of pitch for his secondary stuff. Now, when it comes to Easton Lucas in this trade, he has split time between Double A and Triple A in the O system. Posted a 2.73 ERA in 20 relief appearances down in the farm for the Baltimore Orioles. So I think this is a really good trade for the O's. Low risk, high reward. A guy who can help out Bautista in the back end of the bullpen. I think this is a great first move by the Orioles ahead of this deadline. The Red Sox sent Kike Hernandez back to the Dodgers in exchange for Nick Robertson and Justin Hangman. Now, this is according to Rosenthal and John Heyman. Uh, now, despite Kike being one of the worst defensive shortstops here in 2023, as he has an awful OPS plus as well at 62, I, I do think this trade for LA is a positive one. If you think about it, he would have lost the shortstop job in Boston anyways because Trevor Story, again, who hasn't been terrific, but again, signed a massive deal, is coming back off the injured list. So he would have moved in at short. And, and also, you know, Miguel Rojas has not been on fire. He's been actually horrible. He has a 51 OPS plus and he has no home runs, which is worse than Kike Hernandez um, this season in Boston. Kike will do great things in LA. I think he will turn it around. I think he'll be back to that form. We're used to seeing him when he was playing with the Dodgers, you know, back when they're winning and competing for championships in 2017, 18, 19, and 20. And also today, actually, he nabbed two hits in a, I believe it was a six to one loss to the Blue Jays at home at Dodger Stadium. But it was the first time this season that Kike has had multi hit games in back-to-back -back appearances. So it seems like Kike is truly, you know, home at Dodger Stadium and a part of the Dodger organization. Now, just a few moments ago, speaking of them Dodgers, they made another trade for yet another middle infielder. According to Jeff Passan and Ken Rosenthal, they both said they have heard from sources and they have confirmed the Dodgers are in agreement with the Guardians on a trade for Ahmed Rosario pending uh, medical. Again, the Dodgers, they're not yet going after that big starting pitcher like everybody expected. I mean, their middle infield has not been the strongest thing for them this season. I mean, Mookie uh, has been like a great shortstop for the most part, right? I mean, he's an all-star shortstop, uh, frankly, but that's not his natural position, although he is a he is a defensive metrics darling in a sense because he is so versatile, right? Whether it's playing the outfield or the middle infield, I think the Dodgers really want a formable a reliable defensive shortstop, and I think they believe that when platooning, guys like Kike and Rosario will give them that security at that position, and I think Mookie will still continue to play a little bit of the infield, but I think I was just watching the game, and the Dodger broadcaster was saying that they expect Mookie to play more uh, outfield right after this Kike Hernandez trade went down. This was way before the news of Rosario came out. I think Rojas is the odd man out. I could see him being straight up released by the Dodgers. Now, the Twins and the Marlins have engaged in another trade. This time, they swap relief pitchers as Minnesota is sending Jorge Lopez to Miami for Dylan Floro. As you can see, neither guy is doing fantastic on the year. From the Twins' perspective, they view Floro as a guy who can be more consistent out of the pen than Lopez has been this season. If you look at the numbers, they do kind of indicate that. I mean, Floro has a couple more strikeouts, has a better war, but honestly, this is kind of a confusing trade to me. I mean, the numbers are eerily similar. Floro has a better ERA, but <laughs> not like it's amazing. He's given up more hits than Lopez. Yes, he has more strikeouts, sure. The record's pretty much the same for both of the guys, but the record doesn't matter. I mean, Lopez has a better whip, but he does have a negative war, so it's just kind of a weird trade, I think, in my mind. And now we end this video with a bit of a bombshell report and a tweet sent out by Sports Illustrated 
They said Shohei Otani's off the trade market. A source familiar to the Angels told SI's Tom Verducci. Apparently, the Angels are looking at where they are in the standings in regards to the wild card. They're only four games out of that final wild card spot, and they want to continue to push for the playoffs here in 2023 with Otani doing how he's doing, and the Angels getting a win last night in Detroit, and of course, Mike Trout on his way back from the IL. And do I think they should trade him? I'd like to see him traded, yeah, because I don't think the Angels are going to make the playoffs. I just don't. I don't think it's going to happen, even with Mike Trout back. I just don't see it happening, but apparently right now, he is staying in Southern California, so any trade rumors you hear from this point on, apparently, about Otani being traded is false. I mean, I just heard a report that Rays, Orioles, and Diamondbacks and I think the Blue Jays as well are in on Otani. That was only a couple hours ago this morning. And now it's totally different, according to Tom Verducci. Um, so, I don't know. We'll see what happens. But again, comment down below your thoughts. And that's all I got for now. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys later.